It waits in the dark, lurking, observing your every movement, reading your every thought, watching for the perfect moment to pass. Hello, my fluffy love nuggets, and welcome to Character Canvas, where I teach you how to create the best original character to ever come from a fan. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell for more OC tutorials and insights. Mary Sue. The name has sent fear into the hearts of every character creator since the fanfiction A Trekkie's Tale was written by Paula Smith in the 1970s. Characters like this have existed long before then, however, likely since the first human being thought of writing fictional stories. But how do we prevent our OC babies from receiving this dreaded tag? Here are five methods you can use to sidestep these pitfalls in creating your lovely OC within any fandom. When creating an OC within an already established world, it's simply good manners to not be more powerful than canon characters. Creating an OC who's, say, stronger than Applejack or who has a more attuned eye for fashion than rarity is like walking into a stranger's house and completely redesigning it to your own tastes. You're in for a lot of awkward moments and more than a little annoyance from those watching. Besides, if your character knows how to solve every problem, there's no challenge. And where's the fun in that? Back to our Star Trek references, we're going to talk about love. The term Captain Kirking means having a character who wins over the hearts of every possible love interest that turns up. This can happen to any kind of character, no matter what they look like or what their disabilities are. If your OC turns every single head in the room, you may want to dial it back a bit. You aren't freaking Aphrodite, okay? There are hundreds of videos on YouTube telling you to give your OC flaws, but this can also be overdone. Not so much giving your OC too many weaknesses. Can you tell I'm an author? Mwahahaha but in emphasizing them too much. Just as the Captain Kirking character turns all heads in a romantic way, so the pity party lowers them all in borderline depression. If you can easily see your OC singing struggle ballads more than once in a story, you might want to ease off. I'm not talking about your audience here, as you want your audience to like your character. But if you can't come up with a reason why anyone would not like your character, being too perfect or too beautiful or other positive traits turned weakness do not count. I would consider adding a few flaws that would annoy yourself. Maybe your OC chews too loud or speaks too bluntly or has an addiction to drama. Get creative! Okay, we work hard on our characters. It isn't easy to find that perfect balance, that harmonious sweet spot where everything seems to come together and your muse smiles upon you long enough to put together an entirely new creature you're remotely happy with. After rare moments like that, the last thing we want to hear is that other people have found fault with your creation. But the fact is, we're not perfect. And since we're not perfect, literally nothing we make is going to be perfect. The trick is to be okay with that and create the character that's perfect for you. Don't shut out the negative comments as they can help you improve your character creating skills, but be confident in what you've made. Any changes you decide to make are your decision and your decision alone. I hope these tips are helpful as you create original characters or even your online persona. But what about you? How did you come up with your OC? Tell me in the comments below and I will see you in the next video.